my name is Tohel Bogani. Uh, I am uh, a national board member with Economic Planning Board. And I lead the IPN uh, Ismaili Professionals Network for India. Uh, so that is a that is the alliance uh, and a group within EPB for bringing the professionals of our Jamaat together. And uh, my great honor to uh, you know introduce two stalwarts from the industry today, who are going to spend the next uh, forty five minutes uh, talking about uh, AI and what it means for you. And two people who I really admire. Uh, the first. Uh, I want to introduce Ali Asghar Karachiwala, who is the EVP and IT head uh, from RBL Bank. So uh, in his role, uh, Ali Asghar leads the automation and the IT initiatives uh, for RBL Bank. Prior to that, he's worked with banks like AU Finance Bank and Access Bank. And uh, I can see a lot of you on the uh, call who are into uh, banking and who are interested, who are working professionals. So I'm sure Ali will uh, share a lot of insights on what AI means for various professions. And the other person I want to introduce, again, a dear friend and a person I deeply admire, Chinmay Gaunkar, who is the director for solution sales uh, for manufacturing and conglomerates in uh, Microsoft. Uh, prior to that, he's worked with uh, companies like uh, Google and uh, Oracle. So he's an expert. And what I know about uh, Chinmay and one thing I deeply admire about him is his passion for community work. Uh, he's always, uh, you know, willing to, always available for sessions for like these and uh, amazing work that he does. He does a lot of mentoring as well. So, uh, Chinmay, I saw a lot of parents on the call as well, you know, who are very anxious to know what this new age of AI means for their children. So, I'm sure your experience will uh, uh, be, be very valuable for them. So, once again, Chinmay, warm welcome. Uh, Alias, the warm welcome to both of you. Uh, you. So, uh, to all of you on the call, uh, what we will be doing is uh, spending the next 35 to 40 minutes uh, uh, through a kind of a question and answer. You know, many of you have put in uh, what you would like to hear in the webinar when you enter for this webinar. So we will try to address most of those questions. At the end, you can put your uh, queries in the chat board. Uh, looking at the audience uh, size, I'm not sure if we can cover all the questions, but I'm sure we'll uh, try to address as many as we can. So uh, with that, uh, let me start off. You know, my first question is for Ali Asghar. And uh, Ali, I think, uh, you know, you have been in the industry for a while. So, you know, artificial intelligence has been around for a while. You know, we've used Siri and we have used Cortana and all. We artificial intelligence. Tha. So what is AI now? What is this whole buzz today around generative AI? You know, and one, one more question to that. You know, if you could touch upon, uh, you know, we are all in the IT industry. so. We are kind of notorious for always, uh, you know, hyping up something. So a few years ago, it was a metaverse. It was cryptocurrency, you know. So there are some skeptics who say that now generative AI is another buzzword. So just wanted your views on that. Uh, first of all, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for calling me. Uh, and thanks, Oil. I mean, I really appreciate the way, you know, this entire this entire forum is being done uh, at the community level. It's real. You may not actually believe I actually did forward this poster okay, to my community that we should be doing a similar thing. So I'm quite impressed with this entire concept of this uh, IPN. So thank you me, uh, thank you for calling me here. Thank you. Um, that's the first, but, and I think your questions, uh, I questions are quite a bit and it will need a little detail answer. But, um, you know, let's start with very basic because when we were going through the kind of the audience, we have, you know, people from different places, uh, different uh, understanding of uh, AI, different understanding of IT, everything. So basic space and let us, you know. Uh, so before we actually even move to AI, let us understand what is human intelligence, then we move to art. So human intelligence, but basically how we do What is our intelligence? We do a bit of, we know, learning, we do thinking. These are the kind of rules which we do, problem solving, then understanding the issue, the language, we understand the pattern, we understand the flow. This is what humans can do, correct? This is our intelligence. If the same thing is actually done by a program or an application, okay, or a set of code, it is artificial intelligence. It is as simple as that. So instead of all these things which are human, which we call as intelligence, and if that is done by a program or an application, it is artificial intelligence. So there is no need to worry, you know, what is artificial and, and now, of course, people have used it and we've been using this for a very long time in the past as well. 
So um, I remember actually, if, if I go back to old days, you know, very old days, around 10, 15 years back when cloud was um, the new buzzword, okay? And, you know, it was very difficult to explain cloud. I was attending a similar conference and somebody told me about Hotmail. Hotmail was existing then. So like the Hotmail, which you've been using for last 30 years is actually nothing but cloud. So similarly, AI here also I'm saying is something which we've been using for some time. Okay, I, when we discuss some of the those examples, we will realize that you already use So uh, I mean, uh, so let's uh, okay, let's start with a few examples. Um, for example, uh, in emails where you know we have this spam. The spam in email is nothing but actually AI. The recommendations which we get on our Netflix or or Prime or our Spotify is basis the artificial intelligence basis our history which we have. That is that is AI. Okay, the Sometimes we do Google search, you know, language uh, and translation. That is nothing but AI. So, you know, there are many such. So I thought, you know, it, that's a better way to understand AI, okay, by giving examples rather than me, you know, reading a um, dictionary meaning of that. So uh, I think, are we clear on the AI part? Ke AI ke? Then we go to the gen AI part. Metaverse and all, I think I'll come to that. We will cover that a bit. That's certain, those are different technologies. But let us first, so this is, Primarily the AI, jo ek human intelligence karta hai. if the program is doing, that becomes AI. Right? Yeah, now, generative is already, right? So correct, correct. Absolutely. I mean, I gave some of the I gave some examples. I can give some more. Well, for example, Tesla, ka, the, the autonomous vehicle. They, they are using uh, AI. The virtual assistants, which actually in the multiple chatbots, koi bhi website, pe jau, mm, mm, Amazon, pe jau, any the chatbots which we see are nothing but AI. AI. So well, we've been surrounded by AI for a quite some time and we are using it. Okay. Rather, AI is helping us in many ways and sometimes influencing our decision as well. <clears throat> so that's one. You know, the Amazon Pay, if you buy, so then people say, so, you know, people also bought. Okay. That is nothing but AI. Like that it. is, like you know, you buy an X product along with that, you use, they show ABC more products. That is AI. We've been, you know, it's it's there in front of us. So coming to the Gen AI part, I will not. Uh, you ask a very long questions, and I'll give a try to give a, an answer. So a bit, a gen, one is AI, and second is the Gen AI. Gen AI, I think, uh, let me put it like a father and son. So father and business uh, set up here. You know that AI, the entire thing which we spoke about, that it is about you know understanding and behaving like a human and responding uh, like a, a human. So typically your AI is. Um, uh, it's uh, classification, decision making, help karega, prediction, karega, existing data ko to analyze karega and will suggest few things. Gen AI, uh, uh, Gen AI is like the son who wants to expand, you know, who, who wants to do more using the father's own business. So who will uh, who will create data based the knowledge which the father had. AI doesn't create; it only suggests. It helps you in decision making. It will discuss with you. It will not create new content for you. But generative AI, by the name, what it suggests is actually creating new content or new data. Basis the basis the artificial intelligence, which is uh, there where you know it, it learns the flow, it learns the data, all of it. So are we clear? Gen AI, it will actually help you to create you know images. It will type for you. For example, chat G and chat GPT. Uh, chat GPT, it creates the content for you. Uh, generative AI helps you to create images for you. It helps you to create music for you. It helps you to create video for you. Something which did not exist. It, it's not like a Google search. Ke search karke de diya. No, it creates basis the ask which you have and basis the understanding which it has. The, actually, WhatsApp, pe, virtual, uh, you know, WhatsApp, pe, gamification, pe, we have this avatars now. You know, uh, It automatically bases your photo. It creates your avatar. You know, so for example, if I create my avatar right now, it will have a face like this, it will have a spectrum like this, it will have a hairstyle like this, and it will create a avatar for me. So those are generative AIs. It has created something for me. Fashion design may use hota hai, music may use hota hai. So it's there are multiple areas where this isn't getting used. This is predominantly uh, the Gen AI. The video game may use hota hai. In, in fact, it's quite used in uh, the uh, medical uh, part, the pharma industry. And it is uh, there. The progress has been very high, and I'll, um, hopefully it will, you know, help the getting the solutions and the drugs are much better and faster. So I th I think that's the understanding between uh, of AI and Gen AI. 
abhi now your question was i think your question was will is ai as uh, wo metaverse and crypto oh, how yeah. will it so my well, question was you know what is i mean there is so much of uh, buzz around ai today you know every publication talks about ai so is it for real you know uh, that, that was the question so um so i feel and, and uh, all the people here matlab like, see ai one reason where i don't see ai diminishing uh, diminishing right like any other technology i mean i don't want to particularly mention that uh, you know metaverse and uh, cryptocurrency are diminishing no they are not they, because they are defined for a specific use but ai on the other side is actually quite foundational in in driving multiple things you know driving innovation driving efficiency across all sectors in banking uh, pharmaceutical um, manufacturing um, logistics entertainment so it is there is not a single area jahan par ai nahi hai however if we compare this with um, metaverse it is specifically for entertainment or you know gatherings the etc in a virtual world or gaming to some extent cryptocurrency typically will be for transaction processing finance etc security the, all those things but ai has is huge uh, um, you know so the area becomes very broad so because the area is very broad and it is everywhere the implementation uh, is very high at the same time what we are seeing in the you know in like uh, unlike uh, crypto and um, metaverse ai me there is continuous development and there is continuous research investment which is not just by the individual industries but also by government and uh, and educational institutes there are so many courses which are defined by the uh, educational uh, institute however I, we have not seen so many in the other um, technologies which we say so the these are the things which makes me feel that ai i don't think will likely to uh, go down uh, or diminish um, in the near future no i don't think so plus you know uh, you know that the trends keep changing now even when your trends and your demands keep changing you can tailor ai and the technology which you have defined because of the uh, underlying machine learning okay you can actually it it adapts itself you can tailor that and it meets the changing demands with the tweak of few buttons so that's of course see uh, any technology typically will have its own you know disadvantages uske you know, there will be some issues matlab uh, because typically if i say in ai there will be uh, biasness because ultimately it's working basis the data in if that data has some bias because the data is created by human so that human bias will be there and will be reflected in the decision some level of transparency is missing privacy data because because it is completely data driven security of data privacy of data can be questioned at times job related items which i think we may discuss during the course of this discuss so these are the other elements of ai which may come into play but i think ai is here to stay and it is extremely important and very important for this conversation today that we embrace this technology as soon as possible for us to sustain and grow um, in the coming years so thanks and and i think beautiful example you gave of first generation and second generation i think that uh, really explains it very well now my next question goes to chinmay you know so you know ali spoke about uh, generative ai being the second generation now in this second generation or if you call it the sun there is this superstar called chat gpt you know and uh, what is exactly chat gpt you know can you explain that to us and one more related question to that is uh, uh, you know today people are using a search engine already so what is you know where do you use a search engine and where do you use uh, you know tools like uh, chat gpt or google gemini or uh, microsoft copilot can you explain that to us for the audience Fantastic again. Thank you, Soil, for inviting me again. A beautiful initiative. I could see more than four hundred and thirty people on the call. So, am I audible? Because I saw some messages that there are some issues in the sound for the meeting. But I'm hoping most of the people can hear me. Okay, fantastic. Thank you. So, I think the important thing is Chat GPT is an application of Gen AI. While many of us got to know about Chat GPT through Gen AI, uh, but uh, other applications exist. So, Chat GPT becomes a poster boy. It's like Bisleri ka pani. Okay, so people say <laughs> bottle water is bisleri. So generator is Chat GPT. It is not. There are multiple applications. But I think very important point of Chat GPT, which taught to humanity, is 
now computers understand our language i always question people that earlier uh, before the gen ai world if you want to talk to computers you need to do coding you need to learn languages like basic fortran pascal java python scala what not right and then there is only zero and world binary world but now you can talk to computer in marathi gujarati hindi tamil telugu english whatever language you have we call it natural language and computer understands us and reasons with us now that is a key difference between all the ai we saw so far versus the chat gpt and why chat gpt is so popular because earlier world if you search something we used to do keyword search right and when you type keywords you get to understand multiple links from that keyword it's a typical search experience but it will just give you references and citations these are 10 links you go to these links get the summary yourself and create your answer it will not curate things for you whereas in chat gpt world in the generative ai world it curates it for you ready made for example if i want to go for a vacation now kids have holidays like all of our kids have holidays school holidays me if i want to go to say kashmir in earlier world when i search, when i type kashmir holiday i will get some three four advertisement of the travel agent and maybe five six travel blogs in that first search window of a google or a bing search and then i need to go and click on each link find out what is best create my own little note versus chat gpt where it actually gets inputs from me you must have heard the name prompt right prompt engineering so i give my prompt to the chat gpt and say you know what i want to go to kashmir with my two daughters it's a family friendly holiday from mumbai please give me a seven day itinerary with my flights a vegetarian friendly hotels and the local travel it's like telling a travel agent mujhe kashmir jana hai mujhe pura plan design karke do now this is the main difference between the search versus chat gpt where chat gpt or generative ai backed web interface or web agent as we call it can reason like a human understand you as a human and respond to you as a human how it is trained again it's a very uh, very important thing for all of us to understand as ali rightly said it creates something out of nothing what does it mean it doesn't give you answer comparing to your own data which you fed i don't know why the whiteboard started somebody started the whiteboard on the meeting sir can you just switch off the whiteboard yeah thank Sorry, you sir thank you no problem so it is not comparing the training which i gave to the machine like a old ai ml but open ai or google have trained that model now i'll give a simple example you must have heard the word called gpt4 right generative pre trained transformer which powers chat gpt plus or a microsoft copilot for example now gpt4 as a model is trained on the data with 1.7 trillion parameters now again for all of us on the call 1.7 trillion may not mean anything it's just a number but what if i tell you that gpt4 is trained on the data which if you and me want to read as a human it will take us 3000 years of non stop reading that creates you imagine the kind of knowledge they have right uh, as if um, i don't know this is a international seminar so i'm speaking in english but i can explain this concept in hindi to you as well agar chat gpt ko jo information humne diya hai utna information humko padhna hai to hame 3000 saal lagenge non stop reading karne ke liye as a human you and me cannot read 3000 years hamara life span hi utna nahi hai every 2 ghante mein humko water break lagta hai loo break lagta hai we have to sleep we have to eat we have to go to office school wherever right 3000 years of knowledge is given to that model and that is what so powerful back to you sir so sinmay uh, you know there's one line you made in your answer and thanks i think you explained the whole chat gpt very well but there is one line in that which stands out you know which kind of leads me to the next question you said it's like talking to a human or you know like you gave the example of planning a holiday and uh, you know it's like having a travel agent now wo sunke meri ghanti baji and i'm sure bahut logo ko and 
I'll go back to Ali now. Uh, so there is, you know, if chat GPT is going to do everything that humans can do, you know, and uh, Ali, I know that, uh, you know, you are from the banking and financial services space and in our Jamaat, we have a lot of professionals, you know, who are in working in banks, who are working in the insurance industry. Now, what is, you know, uh, what is the application of AI in, you know, as we call BFSI, banking, financial services, insurance, and what is the role that our professionals can play, you know, in this age, you know, where, you know, if you have a banker working in an access bank or a DCB bank, you know, maybe a wealth manager or maybe he's working as a, a call center agent, for example, in this new AI age, you know, where we all agree AI is here to stay, what, what, how do you see banking and financial services evolve? So I think I want to, you know, uh... Understand, you know, there is a lot of fear, first of all, you know, where, where Jesse, we talk about AI, you know, fear and actually I'm experiencing that also that, you know, uh, uh, whenever you intend to implement any AI related projects in any uh, part of, of uh, you know, the industry, the users of that industry, jo users have actually usko, they are a little skeptical because kahin par dar hai, mera job nahi, uh, chala jaya, you know, etc. That's kind of so, let us understand what is the impact of AI. AI impact is jobs, not necessarily to BFSI. BFSI will, will, will come to BFSI. But job pe impact is hai. Hai. There, is, there is no two ways to, uh, about it. Okay? But abhi now it's like you know, this uh, uh, glass of you know, half uh, uh, glass with you know, uh, half water is either full or it is empty. How, how do I see? Automation is something, I mean, if I go to old days of banking, hum ledger mein likhte the entry, very old days, 20 years, 30 years back. Okay, now then we move to core banking solutions, so so and but then that's a continuous change which is happening in each and every industry. If we don't adapt to those changes, then we will be out, outdated. You know, there is a saying in the automation, ke either automate or get automated. So this is the same philosophy which I, you know, everybody should um, uh, accept it. Now what? Now let's come to the AI. The how does it impact the the job? So AI particularly, okay, automates the routine jobs. Okay. RPA is a good example of that. Jo aapka mundane kaam hai, most of the organize, organization are going towards RPA. Jo bhi mundane kaam hai, jiske liye, matlab, and it's, there is no intelligence which is required, you know, it's step one, step two, step three, step four. Yehi roz aakar ke karna hai, that can be done by RPA. Right? This AI is impacting that. Augment, so then uh, the human work, jo hum jo kar rahe, so, AI can help us to enhance our productivity. For example, if I'm just uh, chat, uh, um, chat GPT, mein. if I want to, uh, let's say, uh, uh, write an essay on Kashmir, I don't have to write it. I just have to tell GPT, I'll continue with the Chinese language. It will give me an essay on Kashmir, ke, iski isli kya di, kya, kya hua, kya nahi, everything. Right? So it assists you. How you use it is on you. At the same time, at the same time, also AI creates new job opportunities. Job jhamper pehle itna nahi tha. In fact, those are highly paying jobs to opportunities. Uh, I saw I saw these questions in the that these are the areas of interest. But there are many robotic to engineering, machine learning, data science, ethics uh, about AI, governance, etc. These are cyber security uh, using AI. These are great job roles which is created by AI, and these will be the need of the hour in the next. Few years we will see the demand and the, these will be the most highly paid earned jobs. Second is, you know, tradition, uh, a shift in skill requirement. We need to upgrade. I mean, we, agar, um, if we are doing, if we are used to doing our work in a particular way, we need to start using AI. We need to, I'll give them more, some more example in the BFSI, but I'm just saying, if you are using, doing it in a particular way, start using technology and do it better, do it better. So there is a significant impact on all our jobs, many other things. Coming specifically to BFSI, mein, there are multiple departments have, which has already started in using, I mean, multiple banks, whether it is a fraud detection. I mean, uh, usme to AI have been, AI and ML has been there since some time where um, let's say you do a high level transaction through your credit card or, or your debit card, you immediately get a call from the uh, bank. That is through AI. 
okay yes okay, this this is not a regular behavior of uh, this particular customer and if there is a transaction which is uh, you get a call you get an alert etc risk management customer service bots etc these are the areas which which are clearly there in you know customer service and personalization in fact jo marketing or the emailers which you get from various banks okay many of them would be created by uh, ais the you will see lot of fintechs jo bahut sare jo application jo loan dene ke liye they are giving you instant loan 50000 30000 1 lakh 2 lakh 3 lakh depending on your credit they are immediately disbursement in 3 minutes kaise because there is so much of data and there is uh, analysis which is done by them with the help of ai your instant disbursements and all these thing instant lending is possible your credit risk rating credit scoring etc in fact i don't know um, uh, um many of you must be trading okay stock market mein we have a lot so there is some algo ha huh, sorry no we have a lot of people in our jamaat who are very avid stock traders करेक्ट करेक्ट तो तो अपने वैसे कोई ट्राई करो जो एल्गो ट्रेडिंग ट्राई करो दैट आई मीन आई एम आल्सो येट टू ट्राई आई एम एक्सप्लोरिंग बिकॉज मेरा पैसा लग रहा है तो आई एम बीइंग वेरी कॉन्शियस एंड एंड आई एम आल्सो आई आल्सो ट्रेड अ बिट बट आई वांट टू ट्राई दैट एल्गो ट्रेडिंग व्हिच आई हैव नॉट ट्राइड सो एल्गो ट्रेडिंग इज एंड इट डज एंड इट इज डन इन फ्यू सेकंड्स now that is on the trading side matlab then your uh, advisor there are many apps okay um, and uh, mutual funds uh, you know uh, where they are advising you by asking some 10 or 15 questions and they will exactly advise you based on your risk profile based on your behavior they will ask access to your uh, messages they will ask access to your many other uh, data wo pura read karke they will advise ki your possible risk profile is this and this is the likely investment which you should do including the funds compliance regulatory uh, reporting these are one of the areas where uh, for example compliance and regulatory this is one stick i mean uh, any uh, those of you who are in banks jo bank mein kar rahe aaj you know everybody today sales se zyada ya dhande zyada we are more cautious on the compliance part ai definitely helps us there ki what are the new rules where are we in terms of our data iska reporting kaise karna hai ye wo this is all done by otherwise ye manually karne mein halat kharab to ho jati aur halat kharab hui hai and people have made mistakes and uh, some of them are paying price today had ai being used wisely wide, uh, wisely earlier there would be prompts and your reporting would be faster and better um, most of the banks are exploring this you know uh, to uh, automate uh, some of their reporting anti money laundering matlab the the list goes on and on and on now coming to particularly matlab ek ek kaun se job role ko impact hoga like you gave some the example of you know credit analyst loan officer so ye yes these are customer service uh, representative i don't know earlier there could be thousands of uh, um, people who are deployed as csr customer service representative jo khali service ke liye the but i think after this bot and virtual assistant coming into play uh, hardly there are uh, you know the number of uh, customer service representative have reduced quite a bit because everything the bot can do it data entry ke liye i mean it can be done through to ocr it can be done through many other technologies uh, and uh, the data entry can be maybe maker can be done by technology checker let be to be on the safer side i mean a checker can be um, in fact there are many processes where maker and checker both are bots so ai based uh, credit scoring is been there for a very long uh, for for sometimes at least fintechs are using it uh, uh, big time the loan officer you know in the traditional days um, jo bank mein hai wo los mein they are origination mein there was something called as qd and dd a quick data entry tha jahan par if the customer applied for it just uski kuch basic details capture karte and after meeting the customer we used to have the detailed data entry abhi to pura data gst se aise pura mil jata hai and then you don't have to actually enter if you look at most of the diy journey so do it yourself wala jo online aapko account do teen minute mein aaj account khol raha hai wo kaise khol raha hai because there is lot of data and uh, uh, things which are being done at the back end and the credit checks and all those things are there which allows banks and financial institutions to let you provide that service in few minutes my I'm, my list can go on you know there are financial analysts there are advisors there are investment advisors there are back office the operations all these guys or the roles jobs are likely to be impacted in a positive way i'll say i'm not saying there will be job cuts uh, at this point of time
I don't think we have reached that stage where we are talking about job cuts right now. But I think we are talking about hiring those people in these roles which can adapt to the AI and use the AI tools. That's the, I think, my uh, summary of this, um, your ask. If I, I don't know if I've addressed that point. No, Ali, I did, that makes a great point. And I want to kind of amplify just one point you said, you know, for the people, you know, on the call. So uh, I think the message, you know, very clear if you are working in a bank or something is that you have to upgrade yourself. And this is what Imam has been telling us from years and years, you know, continuous education. And, uh, you know, if you are in a job, you know, like a teller or a contact center agent, probably you need to, you don't need to be afraid, but you need to start upgrading yourself, you know, and finding out what are the new opportunities. So that, I think, was a very good uh, example of banking and financial services. Now, Chinmay, I'll come back to you. Uh, since you man manage the manufacturing and the retail business uh, for Microsoft, so again, a lot of uh, professionals and, uh, you know, businessmen in our Jamaat who are, uh, you know, into manufacturing, into retail, into trading. So what, what impact do you see on these sectors in, uh, you know, because of Gen AI? So it's a great question. And I think I'll add a couple of points. What Ali said, right? Uh, let me ask this to everybody. And I know it's a long meeting, so people cannot respond. But if you can put in the chat, suppose you go 276 years back, 1756, the James Watt has not yet invented the steam engine. Okay. And you tell, uh, you have a time machine and you suddenly go and you say, you know what? I work in a bank. I work in a factory. I'm a pilot. I am a driver. People would look at you as being a ghost. Because in that era, those jobs were not heard of, they were non-existent. So every new technology which comes right from the steam engine to automobile to computer, electricity, internet, and now generative AI will transform jobs. That's the reality. Okay. There is a report of World Economic Forum which says that. In next five to six years, the AI would replace some eight crore jobs. Okay. But it will also generate some 13 crore jobs. So there is a net impact of five and a half crore jobs created. The problem which we are facing today is we don't even know many of the jobs and their job titles. It's a fear of unknown. The same example. I'll again give you, right? Forget James Watt and 2076 years and 56 years. Just go back to 1990. There was no internet. Today, there is a lot of unorganized sector in India who works as a Zomato delivery boys, who work as, you know, uh, with Urban Clap, for example, right? As a small tribe entrepreneurs who have this uh, platform story, Zomato, Swiggy. Uh, these are non existent, right? It will still, it is still giving jobs of, lacks of people today. So internet has enabled those jobs, cyber cafes, PCOs, those jobs were non-existent, right? Online trading, money control, non-existent. Stock markets were problem of few, right? In 1992 to 93, it was a very close community. You have to be in the Dallas street to trade. Now, as you said, a lot of people can trade on their mobile. So we should not be afraid. That is the first thing about job impact. Okay. In the manufacturing sector, I'll tell you some beautiful examples. There is one customer of ours, which I can't name because of NDA reasons. Uh, they have implemented a beautiful software for predictive maintenance in their plant in Gujarat. And this is a classic story for India, the scale of India, right? The workers in that plant can only speak Gujarati and understand Gujarati. All the product manuals and all the machine manuals, typically imported machines in the plant factory, they are in English. So if the machine fails on the production line, uh, these people do not understand how to repair it or what to do next, right? Which machine, which button to press? Kya karna hai abhi? What this company did is they created a generative engineer, in, uh, generative AI based predictive maintenance bot. But what they did, it's not just the English bot or somebody types. They put a small speaker like wo PTM ka speaker hota hai na, pan wale mein. PTM pe 10 rupee prapt hai when you scan the QR code, right? Those kind of speakers they placed on the production line. And when the machine fails or something stops, the operator speaks in Gujarati. Ab kya karne ka hai? I'm sorry, I don't know Gujarati, so I can speak exactly the words, but what to do next in Gujarati? 
that Gujarati gets trans transcribed to a speech to text. That text is translated to English. That English is created a prompt, goes to the product manual or machine manual, repair manual, which comes back as an answer from the generative AI. And the speaker speaks in Gujarati. Now, this is the India scale sort, sorted problem, right? Um, another uh, use case which I always see in uh, typically manufacturing process automation. Most of you, if you are a small businessman, you will be supplying to large conglomerates or large factories, right? There is whole of this invoice processing, uh, vendor onboarding, all those processes where you have to submit a lot of documentation. You have to pay, get the payments. You have to submit your invoices, right? Now, that process was manual so far. Now, AI is also taking over that. So, what is the positive impact? Because now, AI assists human to take calls on vendor onboarding, legal documentation, NDAs, payments. Your payment cycles are crunched. So, earlier, if you can pay vendors in, say, 60 days, AI can reduce it to 30 days. So, these are a lot of positive impacts coming with the AI. So, again, the key message I completely agree, agree with Ali, Ali Sagar said is, it's not about what I know today. Just understand. Human psychology is fearful because fear of unknown. The moment you are open with your mind saying that, you know what, Mujhe naya sikhna hai. the AI will help me to be more productive in my job. And I was talking to a lawyer, I'll give you a parallel example. Some of you will be lawyers on the call. There are some 450 people, right? Now, lawyer was asking me ki, if everything is drafting and everything is done by AI, mera kya kaam rahega? The lawyers are typically in, uh, getting a lot of text, right? Agreements banana, agreement padna, Supreme Court ke judgment padna, or case banana. Hum kya karenge? So when we are debating, finally we agreed that as a lawyer or as a chartered accountant, parallel job where you do a lot of paperwork, Excel sheets and all that, right? In a day, if as a lawyer, I can only read three or four cases because these are long, bad, big legal cases. With the help of AI, if AI starts summarizing the case for me, gets all the Supreme Court judgment, relevant judgment for me as a summary, as a case file, maybe I can read 10 more cases, help 10 more people with the legal advice. So look at it with a positive spin. AI will not replace you. AI will help you to be more productive. And that is why please keep learning. Thanks, Jinwa. I think uh, both of you brought out one point, you know, which again, I want to amplify. I think it is about uh, one is not having a fear of the unknown. Yes, AI will take away jobs, but it will also create a lot more jobs. And the only way to get those jobs is to keep educating yourselves and keep, uh, you know, upgrading yourself. So now I want to, you know, I want to ask this question to both of you, you know, before we open it up for questions. Uh, you know, we all, uh, I think you both made a point that you have to keep educating yourself. But, uh, and there are a lot of students, you know, and a lot of anxious parents also on this uh, uh, call, you know, where uh, AR children, you know, are entering an age where it is very different from what uh, uh, we were probably, you know, Chinmay and Ali and we are probably one generation older. Uh, so what advice would you give to youngsters, you know? So we are a young country, you know, India is the youngest country in the world. And our Jamaat is also young, you know, we have a lot of youngsters. What advice would you give to them, you know, if they are entering this world, uh, you know, uh, and, uh, you know, honestly, there is a lot of uh, uh, excitement in our youth on, you know, going abroad to pursue opportunities. So what do you see as opportunities in India, you know, where people could actually uh, leverage from this whole uh, revolution of AI? So maybe I'll go to Ali first and then go back to Chindai. Yeah, I think it's a very, we are at a very interesting point. I love uh, this is an opportunity that we are today at that stage of our career that we can really explore and start because now AI journey is not start. So, you to take the train or the train is So, now I think I want to answer this in two parts. Which are the critical roles which we should focus and try to learn and uh, try to get those skills. Okay, but that may not be easy for all who are already working, okay, and has some level of experience or has reached some level of growth. So first, let me give some practical uh, things, okay, you know, in your, whichever company you're working or you have your, 
So there will be some AI project, there will be some which will start getting associated with that project. Even if you are a user, show your interest, start involving yourself in that. That is the first step to learn. interest you know, show your interest. Okay. Be part of testing on those um, projects. Be part, part of implementation. Be part of training uh, on those. Okay, so your uh, because this will be very closely linked to something which you are doing. You will always uh, have the knowledge, and it will be only an addition. Your confidence level will also increase. This is for all the people who are working. As far as students are uh, concerned, you know who wants to develop. Okay. Um, Okay, there are multiple, you know, there are, you know, AI integration uh, specialists. Matlab, AI ka integration and using it, okay, is, is a role which is not yet, you know, um, uh, there are not so many uh, skills which are available. In fact, AI related skill itself is not available. Okay, um, uh, you know, Chinmay spoke one very important thing in the first uh, uh, response that, you know, uh, when you talk to a computer, it is actually about coding. Right. So, uh, but in today's world, it's, uh, you know, people are moving from coding to low code, no code platforms, you know. So, you, uh, so you, there is a lot of demand for low code, no code developers. So, you know, that's the another area data analysts, data scientists, because AI ka backbone is data. So, if you get into the data line, see big, a lot of learnings and Data is the new oil, as you know, you've been hearing this for a very long time. But now we are talking about data analysts and data scientists. Somebody who is, you know, you know, oil, uh, taking this oil and, and using it and making it valuable for the market and your company. Another area, which is your, from a role perspective, if you want to go, if you have interest towards ethics, because AI has its own advantage or disadvantage. Bhi hai. To usko control karna. If the AI technology is not implemented well. How do you govern it? Anything which is so powerful, if it is not done, we have seen many movies, you know, ke, a power aage, it can go the other way. AI is also like that. So we need strict governance and ethics around this. So there are ethics experts which are there. Okay. There, there's a part, dedicated role for that. You can do a Google search and you'll find so many LinkedIn may there are openings for um, that. Uh, AI trainers, education institutes. So these are the roles which one can target if you want to start learning towards it. And as far as new, um, uh, if you're already working and really not having time to, you know, enroll to the courses or switch your line to these roles, uh, like I said earlier, you know, start getting involved in the projects, start implementing uh, those um, projects. Madam, you can start as a user, then tester, then project management, and then, you know, you can be that COE head kind of things, but start getting involved. Otherwise, it can become too late. Thanks, Ali. That was a good uh, answer. Chinmay, over to you. Uh, what's, what's your view on this? How can we prepare for this new AI age? Yeah, so I'll, I'll go back to the fundamentals and basics, right? Where Ali told you about the learnings, right? Uh, and I do career counseling uh, to a lot of students and parents. So this is my favorite topic. See, whatever we do in AI or ML or data science, right? The fundamentals of human intellect will not change the difference or the gap which i see in today's students and this is for parents on the call is our students do not understand basics of critical thinking and deep learning okay students don't have ability to read and write their own notes okay they don't have interpersonal skills also they don't have leadership qualities developed they do not have a social quotient because all of our creeds today, they are into virtual world. They are on internet, they are on mobile, they are playing each other with the PUBG, multiplayer games and all that, right? So first advice to everybody, whether AI or not AI, is make your student first a right human being who can be learning machine. And how will you make that? First, as I said, develop a critical thinking habit. And as simple as reading everyday newspapers goes a long way. Trust me, I consult so many students so far. A simple habit in the summer holidays. If your student, if your student, if your if your parent of a student who is a sixth or seventh standard, make sure you subscribe to a physical newspaper, not digital in shorts or digital uh, emails, right? A physical newspaper at your home in the language you want to read, Marathi, Gujarati, English, Hindi, whatever, and make sure that they read that. Ask them the questions at night. What you read? Let's discuss. Write the notes about what you read. Read good books. That's one advice, right? Second is somebody said in the chat, I don't want to code. 
which is fine, absolutely fine. As I said, now computer understand our language, but we can also understand you have to use AI. When the mobile phone came or smartphone came, has anybody taught us to use smartphone? Nahi na? Am use karna sikh gaye. So please understand that you, every one of us may not want to do a data scientist. Every one of us may not want to be AI researcher. But if you are a lawyer, if you are a doctor, if you are a trader, if you are a businessman, if you are a student, if you are a teacher, somebody asked me a question on teacher. Okay. Make sure you can use AI for your profession. And for that, there are simple, simple online courses, which are hundred percent free. We call it massive online open courseware, MOOC, MOOC. Some of the links I pasted in the chat. There are so many courses which tell you open AI or generative AI for lawyer, generative AI for doctors. Make sure you are aware how to use it. Do not say that Ye mujhe jamta nahi. I'm not a technical. This is the habit of people saying that mujhe wohi computer ko samajhta nahi hai. Maine kabhi padha nahi. not anymore. You cannot do that. That is on the uses of AI for the students. Right. You have to learn basics of coding still. Why? Because if you don't understand how computers understand your language, you cannot ask right questions. Even if today with a prompt engineering, somebody spoke about prompt engineering in the chat. I was looking at the chat, right? In prompt engineering also, when you want to ask the right question and get answer from the customer, answer from the model, you have to understand how computer thinks. So basics of flowchart, basics of coding, programming. If you are a student, please learn. If you have a parent in your 40s, 50s, you are a professional, a businessman. Do not learn coding. Just learn how to use the computer or AI best for your profession. A lot of free courses available and get done with it. This would be my advice. Don't be afraid of AI. Another two years, AI will be commodity. I can tell you frankly. Aaj glamour hai AI ko because these are early days. I can 100% tell you if you meet after two years, AI will be as ubiquitous as Android phone in each, one, each, one, each one's hand. UPI ka payment jab aaya tha, note bandi ke baad, badi baat thi. QR code scan karna, Paytm pe payment karna. Aaj to paan wala bhi leta hai. Everybody bhaji wala bhi pay, uh, payment leta hai, digital payment leta hai. So don't worry about it. Just relax. It will not eat your jobs. It will not make you redundant. But if you don't learn, there's a risk. Let me be very, very honest with you. Back to you, sir. Thanks, Sumay. I think uh, both of you again emphasize the point, uh, you know, and uh, you know, this conversation can go on and on, but uh, uh, it's, it's so interesting. But the chat window is buzzing with questions. So we have muted all the participants on this, but uh, so people cannot unmute themselves. But uh, uh, I'm going to pick up uh, quite a few questions which are coming up in the chat window. And I'll open up to either of you, you know, whoever wants to uh, uh, go for it. But one interesting question which popped up and uh, Ali, this is for you. Uh, and I think it's very relevant. Uh, somebody, I don't know, probably they went to your LinkedIn profile, but they say, how did you, uh, you know, transform your career and get into IT uh, by having a commerce background? So I think uh, interesting question. So uh, Ali, if you could uh, share some of your journey. How did you, you know, reinvent yourself as an IT professional? Uh, so, uh, I don't know how to answer that, but I think if I look at myself, man, uh, for me, IT is, I uh, have IT, IT coding, I don't understand it. I don't understand Even today, I don't understand IT as uh, coding. I think, for me, IT um, is logic. Anybody, anybody who have your who has your head on your shoulders and can think logically because it is all about defining solutions now logically so you will get the right solutions and i think that's where at some point of time when i i started my i started my career in banks only but then wo typical bank wala kaam mujhe jama nahi because i was always very logical so project me gusa project it me gusa then i headed business solutions group and then so business solutions uh, group uh, se badhta gaya badhta gaya and then one business, two business, multiple businesses. And then finally, you know, uh, moved to IT because I those business solutions is primarily doing solutioning. So that's how IT. So it's it, merely IT, aaj bhi logic hai. Um, even if you code, even if you code, it's okay, that language will be specific, but what you're building is actually logic. 
so that's why because that was that's where always my interest was and i shifted my career from there to uh, it so i think the important message you know i want to leave people on the group with you know from your responses uh, uh, you don't necessarily need to be an engineer to make a career in it or to become a data scientist i think if you are passionate about it and you know as as you said if you don't look at it as something you know which is very special if it is just something that you are passionate about i think you can make it right so you may not actually believe okay but i think more than 50% of my team okay uh, is actually non technical non technical because we are into project implementation etc i think defining the solutions right getting the requirements right okay i think coding is is a standard process you can actually that part you can even outsource it right uh, the products which are available getting the right solution understanding what our business need defining the right solutions if you know your business i think that's very important so i think 50 to 60% of my team is actually non technical i'm not referring to the support part but it, because they define the solution so if your interest is there so matlab uh, it is not let's uh, even ai is just not technical it's not it it's not it and you and me have been using in the past and we will continue to use it and like chinmay said it will become a commodity in matter of time So one more yeah. question, uh, you know, probably shifting gears a little bit, and you know, I, uh, either of you wants to take it. There's a question from Nawaz Durani. Uh, I think it's a very uh, pertinent point, you know, given all the headlines going around today. How much can you rely on AI information like ChatGPT? Is it possible that this information is biased? And is there some agency who vets this information for its authentication? So, so I take uh, that. I take that. A uh, very great question. And if you remember, Ali spoke about ethical AI and responsible AI and all those stuff, right? So this actually goes in that area. Now, as I said, Chat GPT or any AI engine is creating something out of nothing. That is why the name is generative AI. Okay, it is not an authority. So do not use AI for any regulatory uh, use case. Do not use AI to take any medical advice. Do not use AI to take any stock trading advice. Again, I'm telling you because there are a lot of stock traders here. Even if you try asking question to AI today, that should I invest into X Y Z stock? AI will respond saying that I cannot advise, but I'll give you all the information about the profit loss, balance sheet, competitor comparison, sales. How much is company का stock का क्या trend है? But it will not give you answer. So first. do not try to use ai for anything which is regulatory or making financial or health impact disclaimer okay second yes the answers can be biased you must have heard the term hallucinations and that is why you have to train the model ground the model again and again so early days again i am saying that there can be a bias information so do not make any advice which will impact you financially or health health wise or regulatory wise कश्मीर जाना है ट्रिप जाना है पोएम लिखो एसे लिखो समरी दे दो चलेगा बिकॉज इट नॉट इम्पैक्टिंग यू डायरेक्टली इट विल सेविंग योर टाइम सो यूज ए आई एज ऑफ नॉट टू सेव योर टाइम नॉट टू टेक एनी इम्पोर्टेंट डिसीजन ओके सो दैट्स अ वेरी ऑनेस्ट आंसर देर इज नो एजेंसी विच रेगुलेट्स देर आर पीपल हु ओन दिस मशीन और ओन दिस मॉडल दे सेल्फ रेगुलेट सो इफ यू सी गूगल माइक्रोसॉफ्ट ओपन ए आई एमेजॉन they have a framework of ethical and responsible ai they do self regulation every government is not trying about ai regulations you will see when it becomes a very op- commodity uh, all the governments come out with the regulation but as of now and if you remember indian government tried to do something a uh, couple of months back uh, but then they retracted saying that the innovation will be stifled so you will see regulations coming in but as of now nobody regulates except the owners of the model so don't use it for any financial advice or health advice please thanks chinmay so uh, one more question you know actually this question is popping up multiple times is and and you uh, you know made a point today use ai to save your time so uh, uh, you know a uh, lot of people on the chat window who want to know uh, what are the tools you can use to save time and uh, after your response uh, you know either of you there's something interesting i want to share that we are planning but uh, back to either of you you know how can you use ai to actually save your time today so i'll just share some of the details which i you know um i use regularly i mean uh 
So there are a couple of the apps which you can, and actually Instapay, if you do a search, you know, um, uh, uh, applications for making PPTs, okay, for uh, making text. Actually, uh, in fact, for today's uh, uh, discussion seminar, I use, uh, I've used uh, ChatGPT, okay, for certain elements which I, instead of doing a search and doing entire thing. So because it is uh, it's NLP, I got um, most of the data in my entire, I think data was done in 20, 25 minutes for uh, the things which I wanted to cover. So uh, there are many apps which are available. I don't want to particularly name anyone, okay. Uh, then, I mean, there is Delhi, there is Chat there, there are multiple ones. It depends what is the purpose because uh, typically the apps which are being uh, available today are for a purpose. Some are for videos, some are for music, some are for, so what? Well, some are to make, make PPT, some are to make content. So it depends on what you are trying to do. So there is no single answer for uh, all. You do a search, you'll get multiple of them. Thanks, Ali. Uh, Chinmay, anything you want to add to that? No, I use Microsoft Copilot uh, very effectively. It's a free application, not because I work for Microsoft, but anybody can download Microsoft Copilot and you can use free. And in fact, uh, I, I gave the Kashmir example, the real example. I'm really going to Kashmir with my family and my kids holiday. Okay. So I use chat GPT to plan my Kashmir holiday. And I planned a holiday. So it gave me very specific because I, as I said, I wanted a vegetarian food. I wanted, I have my two daughters. They are there. They don't want to travel a lot. So it, it saves time. The third thing is in my profession, when I'm in, I'm going for my sales pitches, right? Uh, I need to understand about my customers. And for example, for a better word, say I'm going to RBL, to Ali, right? Uh, I need to go to RBL's annual report and understand what the management vision is. Uh, while I can read, get my notes, but if I simply create a, a four size summary and what the RBL bank wants to do as their vision to their investors and then map my solutions to them. I think our conversation will be more effective and more, more impactful, right? So that way I save my time researching my own customers, researching my own, uh, my own field so that I don't have to struggle with reading that entire 300 page reports and uh, all the news in the market about RBL bank. So just to give an example. Thanks, uh, Chinmay. And uh, I want to share something, uh, you know, for the Jamaat uh, who is listening in. So at the uh, beginning, I introduced myself uh, and uh, I represent IP and Ismaili Professionals Network. What we are planning uh, starting in the month of May is we are going to do a lot of hands-on workshops, uh, you know, in every Jamaat Khana that will actually uh, show you how to use AI to be more productive. So, you know, Chinmay and Ali spoke about some tools, you know, Copilot and Google Bard and, uh, you know, using AI to be more creative, to plan trips. So we are going to do uh, three-hour workshops uh, in every Jamaat Khana that will show you how to, uh, you know, be more productive using AI. So watch out for those, uh, you know, announcements will happen in your Jamaat Khanas and Chala will roll this out very soon. So that will, uh, you know, uh, help you save time, uh, you know, be more productive using AI. Uh, so we are almost at 5.30. Maybe I'll take one or two more questions before we close it. Uh, and uh, Chinmay, thanks for sharing. You know, you have shared a lot of good courses on the chat window. Uh, if you could also kind of summarize that, you know, uh, somebody who wants to be in AI today, uh, you know, uh, a student or even a professional, how can they start? Uh, like you spoke about uh, continuous learning, but what are some of the websites or some of the courses that you have found useful or, or some of the prompts that you used to learn better. Okay. So I'll tell you a little trick. Okay. Well, there are a lot of links I, I kept, I posted, uh, you can go to a Microsoft website or a Google website or an Amazon website and just search all content is free, complimentary for everybody to learn. Okay. But you can use chat GPT to create your own AI learning path. Okay. There is a little bit of secret. Just go to chat GPT. Okay. And tell, tell this prompt that, you know, you are my helpful AI learning assistant. My level of learning is this. You can replace with your level. I am 12th standard student. I am 10th standard student. I am already a lawyer. I am 30 year old. I am a businessman. I do trading. Please create a six week learning path for me along with free course links so that you be my teacher. See the magic. Chat GPT will create a proper AI learning curriculum or course for you based on what you give information about yourself. You can be as vocal saying that I never learn any programming language. 
I am a simple uh, citizen, student or simple uh, whatever right, person, but I want to learn AI with this knowledge or this level, you teach me. Somebody would say, I'm doing computer engineering. I know basics of data science and machine learning. Create a course for me. Chat GPT or a Microsoft Copilot or a Bing search or Bing chat can create you a proper AI learning curriculum. So use AI to learn AI, free of course. I'm going to come to you offline and uh, I'm going to incorporate this into our workshops. I love this idea of using AI to, you know, create your own learning path. So I'm definitely going to come back to you. So I think we are, uh, you know, at the end of the session. So uh, before we close down, uh, maybe Ali, I'll come to you and then to Chinmay. Any last closing comments from you uh, before we close down for the day? Ali, uh, uh, to you first, any final thoughts or any uh, comments or any feedback for our Jamaat? Sorry, I was on mute. Uh, so I think uh, we discussed in uh, about AI and its applications, its impact quite uh, uh, in detail. But uh, we have to take it with a pinch of salt, okay, that it will come it definitely has its multiple advantages. We have to use it for our betterment, but, and it has its own disadvantage. So we need to be very conscious of the output, what we are using, how wisely you're using. As Chinmay said, you know, uh, if those are critical decisions, you may have to, you know, uh, have a double check on that, do a double click on that. Uh, if there are, um, if you're using it for to assist you, Yes, uh, uh, I think that's the way to go about it right now as it matures. Um, let's not, uh, and once you get into the using it and, and you become a pro in, in AI, use it ethically, Be use it responsibly because there are multiple uh, you know apps which are available for deep fakes, et cetera. Do not get bogged down and do not get into those lines. That's my, I think, only conclusion. Be careful. That's my only thing. Great point, Ali. I think the ethics part of it is something that, you know, we very often get, you know, in all the excitement. Uh, so uh, we have to be very careful about that. Uh, uh, Chinmay, uh, over to you. Any uh, closing comments from you? No, I think uh, I think I, I was putting that prompt in the chat window. Many people wanted it, right? How to learn from the chat GPT. But again, I'm telling that. Use chat GPT to learn AI. Yeah, that's my closing comment. Okay. Use the technology for whatever you want to learn. Forget AI. Even if you want to be a good financial professional, you want to be a good lawyer, you want to be a good human being, you want to learn about history, right? The continuous learning. Earlier, if you want to learn, you have to do a lot of library searching, book searching and all that. But now concisely, you can get it. So rather than being afraid of my job will go, or I am in commerce, mein hun, ye to AI computer ka language hai, mujhe nahi aata. use chat GPT for betterment of you. Continuous learning, that's the only thing which will save all of us from being extinct. Otherwise, somebody posted in the chat that, you know, AI will not take your jobs. Person who is using AI will take your job. So be that person who understands and uses AI. Coding karne ki koi zarod nahi if you don't want to. Computer science seeking ki koi zarod nahi if you don't want to. But you should use AI for your betterment, as Ali said. Ethically, responsibility and learn AI through AI. That's my closing comment. Thanks, Chinmay. I think I'm going to close by that sentence you said, you know, AI will not take your job, but somebody using AI better than you will definitely take your job. So I think that is a great way to end the session. And Chinmay, I think you have become a, a rock star now. Everybody wants to know the, the prompt, uh, you know, so I'm going to come back to you and share it. But uh, once again, Ali and Chinmay, a very, very big thank you to all of you, both of you for joining us and giving us your time. And uh, Jama, thank you all of you for joining. Um, you know, I know it's a long weekend, many people traveling, but you all still, uh, you know, logged in and gave us one hour. So thank you very much. Uh, we would really value your feedback. So I put a feedback form in the chat window and I will also share it on the WhatsApp group. And we'll also share some of these links, which uh, Chinmay has shared. We'll share it on the group. So please, please share your feedback with us and uh, uh, feel free to reach out to myself or to Ali or to Chinmay on LinkedIn. And uh, thanks once again. And with that, uh, Yali Madad, everybody, uh, thank you, Chinmay and Ali for joining. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you everyone. Bye. Have a good weekend. Bye. Yeah.